Welcome to Room 6, the channel dedicated to local music and the people that make it, including me. I'm Josh, and we're once again back in the downtown Las Vegas Arts District at local hotspot Taverna Costera for another songwriter showcase hosted by Hal Savar. Except, nope, Hal had to take this week off, so yours truly got to host the event. So let's see what happens when a YouTuber tries to be an MC. But soon after, Prospery was being interviewed by the very co-host who nailed him. You know damn well what I mean! This video is brought to you by Wicked Good Cupcakes. We'll hear more about them later, but for now, let's get on to today's video. This event and this venue are always a great place for local art and artists to show off their wares. The food is great, the signature cocktails are delicious, and the staff and atmosphere are amazing. You owe it to yourself to drop by Taverna Costera if you get the chance. If you'd like to be featured on a future showcase, contact Hal Savar using his social media handle that I've put down in the description. That's also where you'll find the social media handles for every act mentioned in this video. If you'd like to be featured on Room 6, hit me up using my email address or the Room 6 social media link down below as well. While you're down there, feel free to like, share, and subscribe to help me grow the channel and its support of the local music scene. Thanks! Like I said in the intro, opening up the show was yours truly. Once I got done caterwauling, it was time for the real talent to hit the stage. Up first was Lisa Mack, a songstress full of soul and passion. It's been a while since we've seen Lisa, but it's always a treat to hear her perform. Giving her all with every performance, her songs embody the blues in all its glory. Whether solo, like at this event, or with her band, you'll be glad you caught her act live. Following Lisa was once again Fabian de Armas, but this time he brought his friend Salvador along to play violin. The addition of a stringed instrument to Fabian's keyboard playing and love song singing gave his music a little more depth than usual, and it was a welcome addition. Fabian is quickly becoming a showcase favorite, and this performance only cemented that reputation. Up next was one of a handful of teenage songwriting phenoms to hit our stage lightly in the form of Alexis Ryan. Embodying the very essence of an old soul, Alexis's music is equally full of emotion, upbeat, and fun. Like many a teenage songwriter we've seen lately, her music focuses on everyday life as a teen, while also being written in a manner beyond her years. I truly look forward to whatever the future has in store for her. And now, a word from our sponsors. Thanks, Past Josh. Mmm, I love cupcakes. It's a cake you can hold in your hand. Plus, you can fill them with virtually anything. And the toppings can be whatever you like. You know who makes really good cupcakes? Wicked good cupcakes, that's who. What started as a way for a mom and daughter to spend time together quickly became a nationwide phenomenon. Their innovative cupcake in a jar idea first pitched on the TV show Shark Tank for shipping delicious homemade cupcakes nationwide has made Wicked Good Cupcakes a household name. With decadent flavors and enticing, unique presentation, Wicked Good Cupcakes delicious, sweet, and fun cupcake jars are a great way to add delight to any occasion. Just for watching this video and for being part of Room 6 for a limited time, you can use my affiliate link down in the description to get free ground shipping on custom six packs. Delivering to me here in Nevada, that's a savings of almost 20 bucks. Plus, you'll be helping out the channel. Thanks to Wicked Good Cupcakes for being a sponsor, and let's get back to the show. Next on stage was veteran showcase performer David Wax. David's releasing a new tune soon, so make sure to check his social media out so you don't miss it. Like usual, his set was a masterclass in telling a story with your voice and with your instrument, and he has no problem grabbing an audience's attention. I hope the newer songwriters in the crowd were paying attention. The next songwriter gracing the stage was the amazing Caroline Tronowski. One of Caroline's first performances in front of an audience was at one of our past showcases, and it's been amazing to watch her confidence grow and her songwriting get better and better. With the return of her songwriting book, we were treated to a new song that once again drew us in with its simplicity and earnestness. Following Caroline was another veteran showcase performer who's been living the life of a traveling minstrel named Quinn Turner. Joined by Salvador on violin and Fabian on keyboards, 
Quinn's set was an exercise in the art of the jam. Considering this impromptu band had never played together, they did a great job listening to each other, and the extra accompaniment lent a certain gravitas and richness to Quinn's already touching music. Finishing out the night and back for her second time in a row, Sufi was up next. Joined by her guitarist, Chris Hayes, and once again bringing some interior design to the stage, the dynamic duo laid down some groovy vibes tinged with island and reggae sensibilities fused with some soul and R&B. They created a chill hangout environment and sent everyone home in a relaxed and mellow attitude. Overall, the latest installment of the Taverna Costera Songwriter Showcase hosted by Hal and me went great. I sincerely can't wait for the next one on Thursday, March 14th, and I hope we'll see you there as well. If you can't make it in person, hop on the live stream. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I hope that we'll see you at Taverna Costera on March 14th at 6 p.m. and if not, on the live stream. It, yeah, other than that, if you want to see more videos like this, please click up here. If you'd like to subscribe, click over there. You know the drill. And if you want to hear my own music, click over there. Remember to be amazing, and we'll see you next time on Room 6.